सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अबाउट सी लैंग्वेज सो वॉट इज सी लैंग्वेज सी लैंग्वेज इट्स एन लैंग्वेज यूज टू यूज फॉर कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग इट इज बेसिकली फॉर द इट इज बेसिकली ए कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू वट इज ए सी लैंग्वेज लेट एस फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट ए लैंग्वेज इज लैंग्वेज दिस इज ए वेरी कॉमन टर्म यूज बाय और हर्ड बाय ऑल ऑफ अस लैंग्वेज राइट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वट ए सी लैंग्वेज इज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लैंग्वेज सो now the language which i am speaking here it's an english language right so let us talk about english language before going to what is c language so so this is english language now what i am speaking it is english language you were you were able to understand what i am speaking but you have to know the basic things then only you can understand what i am speaking right so when we were taught in our earlier days this language how we were taught we were taught a b c a b c d in that way up to z we were also taught small letter a b c d numbers 1 2 3 in that way from this from this a b c d what we were taught we were taught to write a for apple spelling right we were also taught that whenever you write the name of a particular thing you should always start with a capital letter followed by small letters these are some of the syntax right from words we went to paragraphs then we after words we we from words we tried writing sentences after sentences we wrote paragraphs and so on right after after learning 1 2 what we did we started doing 1 2 summation is equal to 3 then we learned 1 into 2 is equal to 2 and so on various mathematical operations we had done now these are some of the basic things when we were taught english when we started our pre nursery or nursery class we were taught these things similarly for the c language also we have to know the basic things we have to know the guidelines just i mentioned here a for apple but for apple you should not start with small letter that is a syntax that is a rule name of a place suppose delhi we never write delhi because it is wrong this term this proper name right proper name and it is a name of a place or oh, sorry it's a common name a uh, proper name name of a place and uh, it's a uh, small letter it's wrong this is right whatever we write suppose i am a girl i am a girl full stop this is the syntax that always the sentence should be terminated by a full stop this is the symbol right so these are some of the syntax always a line should be started with a capital letter until and unless it's a proper noun you should not use capital letter in the middle of a sentence right so coming to c language or a language of computer we should also know the basic things just i have written here these are the character set similarly c language also have character set character set okay so
So, when we say character set for the C language, what, what falls under this character set? So, first thing, it's alphabets. Alphabets. In alphabets, A, B, C in that way, little Z. Then small letter A, B, C, little Z. In English language, we say these are capital letters, right? I had told here it's capital letter, but here in C language, we say to be uppercase letters. uppercase letters these are called lowercase letters because we have to make the computer learn all the things until and unless computer learn everything then only it will give you the correct result so this letter a this letter a this these are two different things for computer though our human brain computer understand that okay this is the same letter but small letter uh, small letter capital letter but for computer uh, this is a different symbol this is a different symbol then after the alphabets we have digits what we use zero one two so we have up to nine so three four five six seven eight nine so this is these are the basic digits and then you compose various digits numbers okay similarly for this alphabets also you compose different words now after alphabets and digits you have Special characters. There are some special characters in C language which we have to know. Special characters. So what are the various special characters? It's comma. We will be using this one. Angular bracket. Opening, closing. Full stop. Dash. Opening round bracket, closing round bra bracket, semicolon, dollar, colon. This is called modulo. Okay, this is not called percentage, it is called modulo. Square bracket opening, square bracket closing, hash, question mark. Single inverted comma, which will be acting as opening, closing both. And this is called ampersand. Though we say and in our normal uh, language, English language, but we speak this symbol to be ampersand in case of computer language. Then curly brace opening, curly brace closing, double quotes inverted comma power this is used for suppose suppose it is x to the power 2 how we will write in computer language we write this one as x to the power 2 this is used for power then exclamation asterisk this is called asterisk then forward slash standalone line underscore backslash negation plus okay these are some of the special characters now after that we have some keywords Keywords. So, what are keywords? So, from this uh, term, 
uh, you were able to understand that it is something related to words words but something key it's very primary okay so there are some words in um, C language which is universal if you are studying in India or you are studying in Australia or you were studying in USA these keywords the meaning of these keywords will be uniform throughout the world so so keywords are nothing but some predefined words so it's nothing but some predefined words so or you can say it is a reserved word these words are reserved for something for some purpose reserved words so here uh, one more important point with keywords is that these words you cannot uh, manipulate you cannot modify the meaning as per your requirement okay so it is fixed so the meaning of those words are fixed so means suppose suppose i am using the word delhi okay so this is a word this is a word and this is a place uh, delhi you said it's a place or it's an city in india or you can say it's in capital city of india right now this is a proper name this particular word delhi can be used elsewhere and it can be said uh, it can be say also delhi okay it can be modified the meaning of this name can be modified okay if i'm saying the delhi it's a name of a place Someone can also say Delhi, it's a name of a person. They can say it, no problem. But for keywords, you cannot modify this meaning. Okay. So, and it is, this Delhi, it is, it works as an identifier. Right? To identify something. So, one thing with keywords that, keywords, keywords, cannot be used as identifier cannot be used as identifier okay so now how many keywords are present in c language in c language we have a total of 32 keywords there are 32 keywords or reserve words which are used only for specific work okay so what are the 32 keywords let me write down auto double then uh, break break else then case Enum, char, extern, continue, continue for, signed, void, return, Union, Register, Type Def, Long, Switch, Int, Struct, then Do, if static static then while 
कॉन्स्ट फ्लोट शॉर्ट साइज ऑफ डिफॉल्ट गो टू वॉलेटाइल एंड अनसाइंड सो दिस आर द टोटल थर्टी टू क्यू वर्ड्स विच आर यूज इन सी लैंग्वेज सो द बेसिक वेन यू स्टार्ट नोइंग दिस लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू फर्स्ट नो दिस ए बी सी सो यू ऑलरेडी नो एज as you were used to with the english language so some basic things it becomes easy for us to learn so you have to know that these are the character sets within alphabets you have upper case letters lower case letters c language are case sensitive means suppose in one place if suppose in one place you write we and in one place you write we then the in c language they will identify it to be two different words so what we 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 conclude from here is that c language are case sensitive so it is asked sometimes whether c language are case sensitive in that case you have to tell that yes c language are case sen case sensitive then digits special characters how we will use it we will be coming to know in our later videos special characters keywords a total of 32 keywords we use in uh, c language so this is all about today's video okay thank you stay safe stay healthy